Well, sky watchers are in for a treat tonight when the moon moves into the Earth's shadow, forming a total eclipse. The eclipse is expected to last 51 minutes. The moon will begin to move into the darkest part of the Earth's shadow at about a quarter to midnight Australian Eastern Daylight Time. There are usually two or three eclipses a year, but they're not always visible from the same place. But if the weather permits, everyone will be able to see the eclipse from start to finish. Well, let's learn more about tonight's lunar event. Jonathan Nally is here with me. He's the editor of spaceinfo.com.au. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. You're very welcome. Now, I remember seeing another eclipse earlier this year. It's right. certainly a spectacular sight. Yes. Yeah, well, I think it's, um, you know, free entertainment courtesy of nature, I call it. It's, it's the most marvellous thing to see. And particularly when you, say, put yourself in the shoes of people thousands of years ago who didn't know what was going on and couldn't predict when it was going to happen, and all of a sudden the moon starts to disappear appear and then goes this blood red colour as they do during lunar eclipses. It's a really specky thing to see. So what's going to happen tonight? Okay, so as you say, about a quarter to midnight Eastern Daylight Time, and you can adjust for your own time zones on that, uh, the, you'll, you'll start to see a bite taken out of the moon. That's where the moon is moving into the Earth's shadow. And it goes fairly slowly. So as you said, about 51 minutes of totality, but the, the whole thing is longer than that. So a quarter to midnight it starts, uh, the moon will be fully eclipsed right in the middle of totality, about half past one Eastern Daylight Time, and all finished by about 20 past three. So it's a bit of a late night event, this one, often they're in the, the morning or the evening. But if you're up and about, it's Saturday night, you know, you don't have to go to work or school tomorrow, get out and have a look if the weather, weather's okay, because it really is quite amazing. And how often do we see red moons? Well, usually there are two or three eclipses a year, but as you say, we don't always see them from the same spot on Earth. So next time uh, we, there might be a lunar eclipse, but it might be daylight here, and people on the other side of the Earth will see it. We're not going to see another one now in Australia until the year 2014, so that's another reason to uh, go out and have a look at it. There'll be a partial eclipse next year, but that's not quite as good. Um, now, people in Asia and North America will also see this, but what's the best vantage point in Australia? Oh, look, anywhere. Uh, with the moon, uh, with this happening around midnight, the moon's going to be up nice and high, really nice and high in the sky. Um, everywhere across the country is going to see this one. Previous ones over the last year and a half or so, people in the west have missed out or people in the east have missed out, but oh, the whole of Australia and New Zealand as well is going to see this. And unlike a solar eclipse, you can actually look directly. It's safe to look with yeah, the naked eye. that's a good point. Yeah, it's totally safe to see lunar eclipses and you don't need a telescope, you don't need binoculars, you just need your own eyes. And as I said, they, they do happen sort of slowly, so I'm not going to suggest everyone stays out for four hours tonight and watch the whole thing, but if you're up and about, go out every 10 or 15 minutes and see how it's changed.